Good morning. Welcome to Dude RV. Hey, I really appreciate you stopping by. And of course you got here just in time. That's right, just in time for a summertime trip. I'm currently set up at Benbrook Lake Holiday Campground. Such a beautiful campground. If you wanna see more on this, you gotta go back in time to last Sunday and last Wednesday. I've got two great videos of this beautiful campground. Today, we're gonna go head just a little bit north. I don't even have to drive. We're just gonna get on a little red. We're gonna scoot on up to Holiday Park North day use area. It's a Corps of Engineer day use area adjacent to, connected to Holiday Park Campground. So we're gonna hop on a little red. We're gonna go see the stuff in that day use area. So let's go have some fun. It is the first day of August. 2022 texas is in a really bad drought most of the counties are have a burn ban in place because it's just not raining and ben benbrook lake is showing that water shortage almost all the boat ramps here are closed because they just don't go down far enough to reach the water now i am at the end of the road there's actually a yellow gate right up here that separates the south from the north south park from the north park as you can see there's a beautiful day use picnic area of course there's a burn ban in place so you you can't build a fire but you can leave your trash there for somebody else to pick up i know i'm being cynical about the garbage pick up out of yourself why look there's trash all over the place but there's a dumpster right there all right let's go see some more stuff as i had mentioned most of the boat ramps are closed this one actually looks like it goes all the way down to the water <laughs> but it's closed now there's a sign that says no swimming but there were a lot of people yesterday. I could see them from over there. There were a lot of people out here swimming yesterday. All right, let's go find some more stuff. I can only imagine how beautiful and how spacious Benbrook Lake is when it has a lot of water when it's not drying up due to a drought it's pretty cool being out here on a monday when no one's here nothing but the sound of the wind the waves and airplanes can't seem to get away from those all right i'll see if i can find us some more stuff if flying rc planes is your thing this segment is probably going to make you a little bit sad it, it, i don't fly model aircraft and it makes me a little bit sad i want to say thank you to brooklyn bedding and rvmattress.com backslash dude rv for sponsoring today's visit to holiday north on benbrook lake their mattresses are made right here in the good old us of a they offer you a 10-year warranty and to make sure you really like it if you, to make sure you get a really good night's sleep they're going to give you 120 nights to make up your mind as to whether or not you want to keep it that's pretty strong right there if you ask me and i know you're going to want to keep it because uh, you're not going to get my mattress from me i really like it i slept so good last night i missed sunrise so they're made in the usa you get a, a 120 nights to make up your mind a 10-year warranty for crying out loud but we're gonna make it even sweeter if you'll go to the link in the description below or in the card above rvmattresses.com backslash dude rv and remember to use the code dude rv they're giving dude rv viewers 20 percent off how cool is that 20 percent off 120 nights to make up your mind 10-year warranty made in the usa 
that's a winner winner right there man go check them out you'll be glad you did there's an airport for rc planes here at holiday park day use area but it doesn't seem to be getting a whole lot of use or attention Probably wouldn't want to try landing anything on this runway. I guess you could do a helicopter. Or a, a small plane. There's there's enough right here for a small plane. Let's go see if we can find some. Ha Let's go find some. Ha I'm over here by the swim area, the beach, boat ramp closed. I I don't know what boat ramps are open. I saw like four boats on the lake yesterday, Sunday. I don't know where they're putting a boat in the water though. Because all of the boat all the boat ramps that I've seen have been closed. And it's getting really if, if, if you're having a hard time appreciating how low Benbrook Lake is, let's go over here to the to the beach. And let me show you this. those posts out there that's the swim beach buoy anchor there we go and you can tell that nobody's been down here to tend to this beach but it would normally from what i can tell the beach would normally be it's right out here at this the edge of this drop off. So about right here. They do have life jackets. If you're interested in coming out to Benbrook Lake and swimming in shallow water. All right, let's keep going. Well, I guess it's a good thing I wasn't planning on boating. <laughs> another, another boat ramp closed. What, what can I say? <laughs> the lake is super low. Now this, this is, Benbrook Lake is on the Clear Fork Trinity River. And what I've, when I was exploring the clear fork of the brasses i didn't understood understand i didn't understand what that meant clear fork it means that the water is good it's not salty a lot of the a lot of the rivers here in texas have a very high salt content and, and that, that salt comes from up in the panhandle region there's a big salt formation so all the rivers have a salt fork and a clear fork in this part of Texas. So this is on the clear fork Trinity River. All right, let's go see what else we can find. Trees are so resilient, especially mesquite trees. <laughs> mesquite trees are super resilient. Check this one out. Somehow it it got broken, I guess. Maybe, maybe kids climbing on it. But the middle is rotted out, but yet it's still it's still growing. There's even a hackberry growing in the middle of that. It's just fascinating. Anyway, that brings us to the end 
of our brief visit to Holiday North Recreation Area, Benbrook Lake. Not a destination unless you live in this area. But if you're traveling and you're staying at Holiday South, you might want to come pay a visit. If you're looking for a unique place to ride your cycle, this would be a cool place. We're done. Hey, if if you found this to be entertaining and informative, I'd be I'd, I'd I would be most grateful if you'd click on the subscribe button, hit that thumbs up, uh, and remember to hit the bell as well. If you've already been following along, thank you so much. That's why I get to go and visit places like this. Thank you for that opportunity, and for my patrons, I am most grateful. You rock. All right, y'all come back now, you hear?